To my channel yeah. if you're new here hi hello how are you and if you're a returning subscriber hey what it do <sighs> this morning oh sorry Camero's learning videos is gone he literally tucked himself in back into my bed and went to sleep let me show you guys him so cute my baby This focus on this camera, it gets on my nerves. But I am getting another new camera. I can't wait for that to come. I'm planning on getting it in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, because the focus on this, I love this camera, don't get me wrong, I love my Canon G7X. But, you know when you need options, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna get myself another camera, pending. I started this vlog off different today because I really did, I woke up earlier. I was, I've been up from about six something because I went gym. I've been going gym, guys. I've been keeping up with my gym routine. Literally two days on, two days off. And I've been going gym from literally beginning of this year, I started back gym consistently and I'm so happy with my results. Oh, if you can hear Kamai, he's doing his work i say him work to do every day and um, twice a day he's done his maths he's done his english he's doing some reading now and he did some guided writing also and then later on he was probably read again do some division um some spellings so he's over there obviously that's so i was helping him before i'm marking his work but yeah i went gym this morning and some random guy came up to me and was like, oh, hi, like, like introducing stuff and that stuff. And I was like, hi, what's your name? I said, Mara, obviously I'm not giving him my government. I said, Mara, and then he just started talking and was like, ah, oh, um, Mara means in the Bible, a river. And the river was a bitter river and it got turned sweet. God poured something into it and made it sweet. And he was like, uh, um, you may not be bitter at all. I was like, mm, no, I'm not bitter at all. I'm not a bitter person. And he was like, I'm not a bitter person at all. He's like, oh, I can tell, obviously, because how 
my aura, my energy, he was like, I don't feel like you're a bit, I, I can tell that you're not a bit of person. I was like, yeah, no, I'm not a bit, I'm far from that. Then he was like, but that does mean that God has something in store for you and he is gonna pour sweetness into you. So, yeah, and then obviously because he said all of that, I just decided to Google it. You finished reading? All right, that's fine. You can do whatever you want now for a bit and then later you'll do it again, something else again. Some time stables division and that. Well done. Yeah, so then I Googled it and it said, hold on, let me go back because I don't want to lie on here. And so Mara, it says bitter. It is a Hebrew, or Hebrew origin and the meaning of Mara is bitter which carries the implication strength. And the funniest thing is, I have this tattoo strength on my arm and the key, like as in strength is the key. And what's nuts is that I got this, this camera is focusing on my face and my eyes, not my tattoo. Yeah, so I got that tattoo when I was, I think I was like 17 as my very first tattoo. I don't know why I got it, I don't know what inspired me to get it, nothing at all, but do you know what? The more I've grown, years have gone by, it makes a lot of sense to why I got it. Like, I really am a strong person. Everyone that I come cross paths with always says to me, you're so strong, you're such a strong person, like you've got so much strength in you, like how do you do it, you're so strong. Like literally everybody that I cross paths with always, that's one of the first things they associate with me, associate me with as like a strong person, like you're so strong, like wow. So, me reading this and it's saying, that which carries the implication strength, the biblical, Naomi, mother-in-law of Ruth, claimed the name Mara as an expression of her grief after the deaths of her husband and sons. So it just made sense to me. And then I got another one that said the book, the in the book of Ruth, the capital Mara is the name of that Naomi, Naomi, Ruth's mother-in-law gives herself after experiencing great hardship and loss in hebrew mara means bitter and naomi adopts this name to reflect her feelings of bitterness and sorrows sorrow after the death of her husband and son so when i read that yeah so when i read it it just made a whole lot of sense because i'm like yeah because okay it's bitterness only because she had the le she lost her sons and her husband and then she formed this bitterness but the bitterness was formed perceived or portrayed as a form of strength her strength so i was just like yeah i'm gonna take that i'm gonna take that and then obviously because i was on the subject of looking at naming meaning of mara i went on to naming it of imara even though i already knew what the name Imara Mem, I already know that it means strength and all that stuff. So my name means strong, capable of producing great physical force. Um, what else? It means the name Mara is a girl's name of Kiswahili Kis 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 Kisus Kisuhili. Please don't bash me in the comments. I'm trying to pronounce it. Kisus Swahili origin meaning firm. This could make a hauntingly advocate advocated name for the American child striking the perfect balance of an unusual and familiar. Imara's meaning adds further appeal, placing it among a special class of girl names that mean strong, brave, and powerful. Hearing it from someone randomly today, Mara, I mean what Mara means, it's not actually, Mara's not actually my name, but that's my nickname, people call me that. So when I went into looking in that, I was just like, yeah, let me look up my name again, just to be sure. But it all tallies up, like strength, strong, and then connecting my tattoo that I got so much years ago to it means a lot to me because it makes sense. It bloody makes sense. If anybody knows me, honestly, 
you know how strong of a person I am. And I don't even say that to big up my head or anything. It's just something that I, it's, it's in me. It's just in me. Like I can handle so much or I hold down so much or I keep in and I keep in so much and handle so much behind closed doors and inside or internally or even out aloud but you would never know that it's playing an effect on me like I just keep it going I keep it moving like I have this strong armor about me I don't know what it is or why I have it but I'm glad I have it man it makes all it makes sense like it makes sense so yeah i'm happy about that and then my middle name i don't know if you know my middle name but i'm going here my middle name is khadija but it's not spelt how the normal khadijas are spelt if you understand what i'm saying it's spelt differently but how mine is spelled my name means i'm a mediator i am the mediator a peacemaker and the helpers of the world and then it goes on to say um, an early baby which is facts i was an early baby my mom had me early i was premature so i was even meant to be born in august i was actually really meant to be born in like september or october and it means early baby trustworthy and respected khadija is a girl's name of the arabic origin the meaning of khadija is early baby or trustworthy and respect Sometimes spelled Khadija in different ways. It says how it's spelled. Khadija was the first wife of the Prophet Muhammad. So you know me, I'ma have to be the first lady everywhere. The first, first of everything. Also, it means the first wife and the first follower of the Islamic Prophet Muhammad. So with that being said, you know I gotta come first in everything. <laughs> Whoever gonna be with me and wanna be with me, I'ma have to be first. Uh, everything on period oh don't even don't have me don't have me at all you ain't gonna have me if i ain't first understand that so yeah just hearing the man say what he said today i just yeah just took about myself and i just started look researching my name again even though i knew these things about my name but i felt like to share it with you guys because yeah it made so much sense my tattoo i am strong and the fact that he said it's in the bible my mom is in viral and it's a river and it was a bit of a river and God took up, took, poured something sweet into it to make it sweet. So he was just making me know, like, keep going or whatever. Whoever he was saying, he was being nice and he was just giving me a little insight of what my name means and the meaning behind it. And that God pours something sweet into me to make me so sweet. <laughs> like, yeah, and I agree. I'm a sweet person and I'm a strong person and all that stuff. I'm trust baby. I was an early baby. All that stuff. And I'm going to have to be first in everything. The first wife of Prophet Muhammad talked to me nice. Talk to me nice. <laughs> yeah, guys. So, anyways, enough about that. Um, Yeah, today's going to be one of those realistic day in the lives like i have not got nothing planned today is friday kamaya does have football training but i'm in two minds of going oh and if you don't like know i actually don't have my car <laughs> i haven't had my car from november last year i sold it the meaning that meaning you know what your girl's doing i'm getting a new car <laughs> yes um that's in the making that's in the process so yeah um yeah so other than that i've got i just got some parcels that arrived i'm hoping ooh, i am hoping it is the lights for my kitchen um i ordered some lights for my kitchen um my shelves stuff for this my new sofa that i'm sitting on um i put the tv lights up already but i did order i'm hoping it's the lights for the kitchen because i i'm gonna try and see if i can put the little the little put the vinyl top things on today because i've not got much to do oh that's what i was meant to say i might go ikea that's what i might do i might go ikea with my dad just to get a mirror um to put over there right there i want to get a mirror there i'm thinking if my dad is available i think that's what we might do we might just go ikea to go get that mirror and probably some candles and stuff. But 
Downstairs, and people have light fingers in my block. So he's rang the buzz. So let's see if he's gonna ring again. Doesn't seem like it, so I'm gonna have to go downstairs and go get my parcel. Got the very parcel downstairs. So real. Okay, I'm not everybody watching this love island and stuff because yeah, I decided to watch it. And I'm catching up now. I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe I don't need a Maybe I'm just fucked up 
I wanna have more patience, but you're so territorial. I can't even kick it, cause you're watching my story, though. I got what you seen, and I got something you don't need to know. I done gave more dick than a little. I know I'm the reason that you're freaking out. You wish you could be the reason that I settled down. You done gave me all I wanted, but I still got reasons I should fuck around. You done gave me all I wanted, but I still got reasons I should fuck around. Maybe it's the love, the drugs, the weed, the pussy Maybe it's all the love Maybe I don't need a hug Maybe I'm just fucked up The love, the drugs, the weed Maybe I'm just fucked up Just fuck Camero, Kamai, Miles, yum. Oh, we are done. My finish. Hold on. That was tasty. Camero, go and finish your food now. Camero still got food. Yeah. Camero wet my bed. So don't smile. This is not funny. So I had to put my whole sheets in the washing machine. It's done now. Did you wet mummy's bed? I did that. Yes, you okay, did. Sorry. Go and finish your food. Two big bites. Two big bites. No, you need to finish your food. No. Come here, Ro. No iPad and no sweets. Go and finish your food. Stop telling me no. Go and finish your food now. Go and sit on your chair. Sit down. I would um I'll 
In the meantime, I don't know what I want. In the meantime, you know what I want. Maybe I'll love myself. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try and get some. I just did the kids. Let's set them up from Christmas. Oh, I don't mind my hair, guys. I'll just be tying up. I'm happy. It does. He's not going fast enough. I am. Look. Wait. Ooh. Right, guys. So my father is gonna take us to. Ah. Do you like my little bubble hat? From Primark, cute. And I got these little numbers from my sister. My sister, in fact, my sister's friend is selling them. They're fogs, and I absolutely adore them. I love them. Tell me they don't look good. They look great, man. Can't even tell the difference from the real thing. Oh, that's always reached Ikea! I've literally just come to Ikea for a mirror and some candles. Go on, come on, you can't stop. It's gonna keep going, keep going. And on opening the lid, this is exactly what I've come for. This one right here. This is the one I want to get, guys. But I'm now I'm spoiled for choices because there's that one up there, and it's longer. Hello, I'm not sure. Hello, Melis. Yeah, this. Is, but I'm putting it long ways like that. That one's longer, isn't it? This one's brown. Yeah. But this one would be more suitable. For that space. Yeah. I just like how thick this is. That's quite nice, right? Yeah. So this is what I've picked up so far in my basket. I need to take these back. I always come in here for candles. So I doubt if they're coming for candles. Elements candle galore. Oh, get two of those. I'm here. That's for, that's for decoration. Lynn, this is the one of them. It is long. Let me see. Over here. What oh, is this one here? Yeah. Just check that it's, the rim's black. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Oh, that's fine. Yeah guys, possibly I might not be able to get the second mirror, but we're gonna check if it can fit in my dad's car. If it can, I'm just gonna have to come back for it. Oh, Mr. 
mission complete. Plan executed. And you know I can't go from IKEA without getting candles. Mm. Home time. These kids are gonna get McDonald's from their granddad. So it looks like Chinese is off the menu. Granddad got the kids at McDonald's and me, of course. I got a happy meal. It's so, it's so <sighs> I'm in gym, guys, so don't judge me. It's so, so I get a small meal. Mommy, yeah, it's so Sonic, baby. He likes Sonic. Where's my McDonald's? And I got milkshake. We've got milkshakes. Guys, I didn't even realize I scheduled my vlog to drop my Sheen Hall to drop at 6 30 today, and it's, it is live. So if you haven't gone and watched that or seen it's that, you better live. go back. A video and go watch it and comment down below your views on that video on the clothes items and what I got but yeah I think this is gonna wrap up today's vlog so make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn your post notification bell on to make sure you're notified every time I drop a video my minutes I hope to see you guys in the next one <laughs> bye, Millie. <laughs> anyway, bye, Millie. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye. Peace.